What's good, you guys? I'm Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and this is your daily vibe. Today is Monday, and Mondays are ruled by the moon. So we're going to get into that, but first, a few announcements. We still have 33% off all of the readings on the website. You can click the link in the bio and go to readings. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, the link to the website is below. So... If this blesses you today, be sure that you bless someone else and share it with them so that we can keep the love and abundance going. You guys might hear my son in the background because he's over there, you know, doing his thing. Um, I decided I want to keep my readings a little bit more casual and not try to make your move out of the way and do all of those things. So let's see. <laughs> he decided to go in his room and play with his toys okay so uh i hope that you guys are having a good week and if you are watching this on youtube be sure that you like share and subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification link bell <laughs> so you can be notified when my videos are released are present for you to watch so today again monday mondays are ruled by the moon right now we are in a under i should say a pisces moon and the moon is void of course so when the moon is void of course that simply means that it has no aspects going on to any of the other planets and it can also have us feeling a bit out of sorts if we are not used to or aware of this or aware of our patterns and how they show up for for us you know the more we gain self-awareness the more we are able to recognize our patterns and see the space it is that we have to be able to basically handle whatever it is that needs to be handled for ourselves for our life all right so with the moon being in pisces this is a very imaginative, very fantastical energy, very dreamy, loving, uh, but even a very moody, emotional type of energy. Th this can also bring a lot of confusion as well when it comes to our relationships, relating to other people, connecting to other people, also with ourselves and how it is that we're going about thinking things, how we see things, you know, and with Neptune, its ruler being in Pisces. At the same time, this can help us out, but we are still in this space of coming out of this retrograde fog, you know, as Neptune is on its way to pick up speed to start moving forward again, you know. So the past couple of days could have been a little a foggy, you know, but we could have also been inspired to a lot of different ideas, a lot of different, what can I say, maybe receiving downloads, I should say, in inspiring us on which direction to take, where to go, where our, our creative, creativity <laughs> will be best applied for us, you know, so the moon, with the moon not making any aspects right now, we don't really have much to talk about, but let's move forward in the day a little bit. Let's see. So the moon will be in Aries around 4.30. This is Central Standard Time that I'm saying this. Uh, well, the space that I'm saying this in. So we'll apply this uh, how it fits for you and where the timing is for you. So the moon will be in a tense connection with the sun so we may be feeling a bit in conflict of our emotions and how it is that we wish to show up or what it is that we actually need to do get done because the sun moved into capricorn today you know we had the very conjunction today i mean it's still present uh the capricorn capricorn saturn and jupiter are still conjunct in uranus you know so we are receiving a lot of shifts in consciousness when it comes to our perspective of things, our thought processes of things, seeing things from a higher perspective and really aligning with an expression that is going to be more serving to us when it comes to our goals and, and taking time and taking care of doing the work 
that needs to be done. And this is in a harmonious energy that requires effort with the moon. So that will be coming up for us later on this afternoon as well, really taking care of heart-based matters surrounding our goals, surrounding our connections, our friendships. Um, let's see, also when it comes to groups that we involve ourselves in, even Aquarius even represents the people that we work with and for too, because it's about organizations and things of that matter. And with Capricorn there, that is, that is bosses, that is also your career as well, you know, your public image, your social status, and your success and achievement within these things, within life in general. And so we are coming to entering into a space of things being much lighter and being able to align with these things. It's not going to be so heavy. We're not going to have so much to do in order to take care. It's going to be that you may find the flow easier, especially with Jupiter being there. Jupiter wants to give you, give it to you, you know, whereas Saturn, if you have not applied the effort in being able to attain the thing, then you may have to put some energy into it but it's not going to be the same as it was when Saturn was in Capricorn and it just continued to seem to be block after block <laughs> you know thing after thing after thing it's, it's not going to be like that so with the sun with the moon I'm sorry in a in this connection with the sun and with Mercury they're both um it's tensely aspected you know, so there may be some challenges, some some type of blockage, just or it might even just bring some sense of anxiety, in a sense, especially with the moon involved with uh, Mercury, and Mercury being a very mental energy, and these things. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Mommy, baby. That's a baby. That don't look like a baby to me. Okay, so. Let me see. Uh, all right, so with that, okay, I was talking about the, the mental energy and the emotions. And it, so in a sense, take care of recognizing that what you're experiencing is offering you an invitation for growth in these aspects, how it is that you feel when it comes to yourself right in in relation to that Capricorn energy those structures those bosses those the things that you must do in order to attain success know that these are simply stepping stones that are going to support you in being able to gain something greater later <laughs> so the moon will also be in a harmonious energy with Venus so I love relationships made with it being in Aries and Sagittarius feeling very exciting very um even romantic in a sense because Saturn because Aries and um so with Aries and Sagittarius, that can be very passionate. That's, well, it is very passionate energy, very romantic, you know, in a sense, very intimate as well. I know that Aries and Sagittarius doesn't really, the intimacy thing doesn't get brought up much there, but they are very intimate energies, you know, wanting to be very close to the other. You know, although they seem really independent, they really love connection at the same time. Show me an Aries who isn't always trying to find a friend to do something with, <laughs> or Sagittarius for that matter. And yeah, it's going to be difficult, right? So yes, that is that is the main energies. Let's see, let's push the time up a little bit and see. Uh, so the moon will also be coming there. It will be meeting up with Chiron. So we'll be facing ourselves later on this evening 
especially when it comes to our self-worth, our values, how we feel about ourselves, our self-love, how it is that we're taking care of ourselves? Have we been consistent with that? And have we not been consistent with that because we have not been feeling good about ourselves? Right? These things are going to be illuminated for us and really offer us the structure to be able to move through this, to take care of this. And, or perhaps if you've already been working on these types of things with any type of tense energy, you will be seeing the growth of this, the manifestation of the efforts that you have put into yourself, to your life, to your work, and all of those wonderful things. What is it, baby? Finger. So with the the Chiron energy and these things being illuminated will be able to really move through this but also see these things from a higher perspective because it's also in this harmonious aspect with this Saturn and, and Jupiter conjunction which is really offering us a, a much more awakened enlightened view of ourselves you know especially in relation to the group the humanitarian efforts the so <laughs> so it'll be able it'll it'll uh, by the end of the day we may be feeling a very brightened kind of mood after realizing that we can really work through anything we are are here already right we're always already here so it's all in a matter of recognizing and being aware that we are here you know and just simply being in the present we focus a lot on the future but the best way to dictate on what's happening what's kind of about to go down in the future is by being here you know because where it is that we are what it is that we're doing right now it, it dictates the energy dictates <laughs> the energy that we are um, allotting ourselves to support what's coming in the future, you know? So yes, of course, know what you want. Of course, know where it is that you desire to head, but know that it is the few, the present right here, right now, that is the most important because it's the only thing that exists. You know, we can't go backwards and we can't jump ahead we can be here and see the future from our present moment you know so okay that's all that is going on here in this astrology today we're gonna go ahead and pull some cards and get that energy flowing what am i feeling So the day in general, the energy of today just feels very, very calm, you know, not that things aren't going to happen, but that we'll be in the space of being in a sound mind to be able to deal with whatever is going on, whatever is happening. And... We'll be able to not necessarily be in control, but have a sense of control of what, what's taking place, that we are being able to be in our authority in taking care of things. You know, the energy has, has calmed a lot. We went into, we shifted into winter this morning. So this is the shortest day of the year. The sun will not be out very long. So whatever is needed to be illuminated will come early. Or whatever is being illuminated, I should say. Okay, first spirit. 
for your continued grace. Thanks that you offer the collective, those who are watching this video, and your guidance, your insight. direction it is that will best support them in their life at this time as we are all opening up to these new energies that are carrying us forth into the future. I ask that you be with those who need you the most right now and support them in their journey, on their walk, and where it is that they are headed the things it is they wish to accomplish here right now in this moment and in the moments to come. So the first card out is the Ten of Wands. So hmm. So again, that, that feeling of just being able to handle the thing, whatever that thing may be, and really taking time to go within and figure it out so that we can make the load lighter, so that things are not so heavy, so that we can put down what no longer belongs to us, the stresses, the the things that block us from being able to tap into our own personal inspirations, our own personal identities and senses, senses of authority, you know, no longer choosing to do things the hard way, right? So if you have been doing things the hard way and you're feeling it, it's time to take a break, to get some rest, get still, get in a space of solitude, a space of meditation, move into that winter energy, we have really been over this year of 2020, been in a sense forced into winter for a really long time um, since March with the lockdown, because that is that is winter energy, having to be by yourself, not really connecting with many people, although we do have the Christmas season and everything but a lot of us have really had to spend a lot of time with ourselves. So perhaps you are recognizing or have recognized like that that shift in the celestial energy has made everything it is that you have experienced up until now it's bringing sense to all of the things and you're ready to let go of the burdens let go of the dead weight you know and because the 10 it comes back to the one so new inspiration new new ideas new ways of going about things new ways of connecting to your spirituality and just releasing the things that are that can no longer be carried forth with you you know no longer trekking up the mountain in a way that is exhaustive And really just choosing to get grounded in yourself and releasing that really scattered energy that keeps you in this space of feeling like that you need to attach to so many things in order to find success in a thing. I mean, because some of us, we do a lot of things that are successful, but a lot of times we can attach to the opinions of others because this is Ten of Wands as well, the opinions of what other people have to say, think, especially about what it is that we should be doing and how we should be doing it. And that burden seems, it feels like it's lifting coming out of that space of doing things the hard way and just being very original in our approach, in our approach to taking care of life, whatever it is that you do, work, family. Yeah. <laughs> so it's coming down the crumbling what do you what do you what does it say what are you clinging to right is definitely 
those things are coming down, whether we are choosing to actively be consciously aware of these things needing to come back, needing to come down. Okay, so the things that need to come down are, you know, coming down so they can be released so we can move forward, pack lighter, you know, and really just be able to walk forward in the, in on the path, on a path of beauty. The cards that I pulled this morning for the Oracle, one of them was beauty. And, you know, we're really moving into that space, whatever that utopia looks like for you is possible, you know, and it's just really all in a matter of kind of letting go of the thing. So that makes me feel, it feels like that maybe you need to connect with someone who can help you release that energy, who can help you move forward in letting go whatever it is that you're clinging to, or perhaps even just talking to someone who can help you see what it is that you're continuing to hold on to, especially if what it is that you have been doing has not been working for you. We don't always need to let go of the thing that we've been doing, but we sometimes just need to let go of or shift a way in which that we have been going about it, how we've been tapping into our inspiration, you know, how it is that we think about it. And it's really, this day is really calling to take some time to rest, take some time to nourish ourselves, comfort ourselves, you know, really get still within ourselves. Because it, when, when and if we can follow the seasons, our, our experience, because we are seasonal people, right? That's why a lot of us experience seasonal depression, because we are truly aligned with the seasons, with the cycles, you know? So if we can take the time to really nourish ourselves, comfort ourselves, get still within ourselves, take care of ourselves, find balance within ourselves, you know, it really supports us in being able to <laughs> move forward in a way that allows us to be able to function at our highest capacity at any moment, right? So the card that came out is the drum. And the drum speaks about needing to accept the fact that you do things your own way. You are your own individual person and everything it is that you came here to do is yours to do and only yours. You don't have to compare yourself to anybody. You don't have to take on the opinions of anybody. It's important for you to walk to the beat of your own drum and accept that you do that because at the moment that you do that then you begin to open yourself up to all of the limitless that exists within you all of the inspiration that you have not been able to tap into out of holding on to others opinions thoughts ideas about who it is that you should be, you are just yourself, you know, it's really time to come back in to, rem it's time to remember that you are whole as you are, you know, you have just been fragmented by t carrying too much that, you know, taught you a bunch of wonderful lessons, yes, but you don't need any longer, you know, because it is simply stopping you from being able to be great in whatever it is that you're doing, even if it's getting enough sleep at night, okay? <laughs> that is part of your greatness too. You know, stop trying to fit yourself in some box because you don't belong there. life you know life happens in cycles so let one thing die and that's the ten of wands as well cycles coming to an end things ending so something new can begin and what it is is the moon is going to be in Aries and the Aries is Aries is all about individuality it's about our identity it's about our sense of power and authority and being the trailblazer and leading you know 
we don't always necessarily have to be leading the world. We can always lead in our own lives, you know, and really that's most important. The rest comes, you know, thereafter. We don't have to be so focused on um, uh, showing up for another if we especially when we're not doing it for ourselves you know so you can do it you can make it happen take care of yourself nurture yourself comfort yourself you know the cougar she is a very nurturing motherly energy she she tackles her prey she gets the job done you know she protects her cubs she there is no threat she is the threat basically not that she is not ever prey <laughs> she is no jaguar but she can do well on her own if she needs to you know and that is a lot of of this you know do you be you show up as you and find comfort in that you know we always talk about you know you got to you got to get out your comfort zone, but in reality, it's just like, you know, find a new way to be comfortable, find a more expensive and big way to be comfortable that's comfortable for you. Of course, it's not going to be comfortable in the beginning because it's something new, but eventually you get to the place where it feels good. You know, it's, it's just nature. It's natural because it's who you are. You take the time to remember that. So got the fifth house so this is all about your self-expression it's about your creativity it's about your confidence in your inner child as well so perhaps um that is one thing the opinions of others sometimes are really not sometimes they do really detach us from our inner child our inner light you know and stop us from being able to really tap into that uh, inspirational energy that already that always will live within us it never leaves you know it's always there sometimes it's just buried it needs to be unearthed so that we can really enjoy ourselves our lives right because fifth house is also about joy it's also about children you know it's also so perhaps with this cougar card maybe you need to be okay with um the way that you mother, because she is a mother as well. Uh, perhaps you need to be okay with the relationship that you have with your mother, you know, or maybe you need to mother yourself so that you can further tap more into that that inner knowing, right? Because that's the fifth house as well. Leo, the fifth house is ruled by Leo, and Leos are very, they have this this sense of knowing, this, this type of intelligence that is, it, it's, everybody don't have that that's all I can really say <laughs> you know it is very divine and fifth house is also about love so this is about self-love too this is about romance you know perhaps you need to also be okay with the type of love life that you have um be okay with the way in which it is that you love mm -hmm. and just not again letting other people's opinions deter you from embodying and aligning with the alignment that is here for you to just hop in the wave jump in the flow you know let the current take you be be bold you know have the strength to release the old so that you can really get into the new right because whether you are doing it on your own or not, it's happening, you know, but what I know is that y'all are paying attention to y'all's life. And so it's just all in a matter of acting, you know, because the house is also a card of movement, action, expression, you know, share your truth with whoever. It doesn't have to just share your truth, you know. Don't get too caught up in the notions of things and be lighthearted about it. We are definitely coming into that lighthearted space. This Saturn and Jupiter conjunction is opposite Leo, whose ruler is in Capricorn now, right? So we are building the structures of really, so Leo's ruler 
is in Capricorn. Capricorn's ruler is now in Aquarius. So we are now building the structures on our individuality, right? On who it is that we truly are, <clears throat> truly are in a heart space, you know, in an inner space and moving forward in that with that. Because you can do it. Yeah, so you've got the shepherd. The shepherd is, this is a page of swords energy. So we may have some new messages coming through in regards to something. This, these might be downloaded messages from within you. You know, this may also be... Okay, messages as far as moving forward, where it is that you need to go. But this, the shepherd also speaks about longing and love. Um, it's also about connecting with people who you resonate with. So very soul family energy. The shepherd is leading his sheep, right? With his dog, his loyal companion. And so, oh, <laughs> Okay, so this may also be speaking about coming out from some old guidance leadership that you have been holding yourself under after some time that has been stifling you from being able to able to move forward on your own in your in your own mind in your own identity instead of being guided and led by someone who you know doing it for clout in a sense doing it for their own personal agenda right but outside of that the shepherd also indicates an intense love of life and strong fellow feelings so we may also be coming into this space of really desiring to connect with others that is the fifth house you know and also really just enjoying life that is the fifth house as well having that joy that fulfillment that happiness that being okay with expressing ourselves and having a sense of purpose as well because the shepherd he he knows what he's doing he knows he, he wakes up every morning gets ready eats his breakfast he's like all right let's go get these sheep and move them to the next pasture you know so definitely getting into this space of really enjoying and loving what it is that you do who it is that you are what it is that you have going on for yourself as well you know and really just feeling like that you can you may be also connecting with people that you really truly resonate with in a way that speaks to your love language you know but also in a way that you resonate with in your beliefs in your perspective of things of life really being able to connect with those other parts all right so let's see what else is here for what affirmations do you have for the collective today on this wintry solstice day this divine portal of a 12 to 1. Um, that's a lot of cards. We're not taking all of those, you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so it's two cards here. Oh, wow. <laughs> so let's see. We have peacefulness and generosity, All right? So really moving into this space of feeling tranquil, you know, being able to cut the chaos and leave it behind and really... Again, that that letting go of what it is that you have been holding on to and 
regards to being true to yourself, to who it is that you are, is going to usher in that peacefulness that you are desiring in your life, in your relationships, in your relationship with yourself, you know, in what it is that you are building for yourself, your creativity, your inspirations, and also giving you space, more space to be able to be generous with others whether that is with your time with your love with you know a helping hand however it is that that may be and so these cards say I have a peaceful tranquil and untroubled heart this is where I choose to spend my time I can bring yes but any person thought or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited my heart is special it's a special property and I'm going to keep it that way so we can all keep enjoying it and I can get my security deposit back keep it together and so generosity says I give generously to those around me no matter how much or how little I have I know there is more than enough to go around and that the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping if I stop the flow I'm like that one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave <laughs> so definitely take some time and go within get centered that we that's what we're being invited to today you know really nourish yourself love yourself pull yourself out of those depths that keep you tethered to any type of bound that you have kind of contracted with that is it's just not working anymore you know it's okay and good to let go <clears throat> you know because that is what is going to support you in gaining the success it is that you desire to have in your life you know and really open up and be able to and then later share whatever it is that you come to you know because that too is generous just sharing your voice so let me see definitely get meditate because we have four of swords here and get centered the girl is meditating on the bottom got fill up your well rest retreat and refuel and the hummingbird is here and the hummingbird it speaks on the card to speak up but it the hummingbird also talks about taking flight don't wait you know the time is 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 now is opportune is right you know and whether that is right to uh, do what it is that you are desiring to do, which at this point, the cards are showing us that it's time to end old cycles and nurture ourselves to get ready into, you know, getting grounded in ourselves and who it is that we are doing something new, most definitely. Wow. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that this supports you throughout this Monday and that it brings you some love and some, a little bit of order to your life. You know, we in Capricorn season, the order don't never hurt nobody. So y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.